Today I'm here to talk to Aniruddhan Vasudevan. He's openly gay um, and he's a spokesperson for the LGBT community in both Chennai and uh, in India. And I'm here to talk to this wonderful dancer, student of Srimati Chitra Vishweshwaran, about art and humanity. And I would like to know how he uses his art to um, convey his ideas. Yeah. Thank you, Kalpana. Uh, I don't always use art for a specific message. I sometimes do. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm in, I, I, I was interested in a number of issues like environment, and, mm -hmm. uh, corporate accountability, and mm -hmm. what's happening in Bhopal, mm -hmm. and a lot of social causes. Yes, a lot of social causes, and I and I was seeing the sort of a disconnect between that mm -hmm. and the art I was practicing. And also I had innumerable questions about religion, mm -hmm. uh, major zones of discomfort about uh, being uh, upper caste. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in terms of uh, having a clear me social message, mm -hmm. uh, how do I do it? I do it by performing as well as organizing. For instance, um, I have created the solo, solo performance piece mm -hmm. called Brihannala. Mm -hmm. and I saw a part of it. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I created it to talk about how complex gender is and sexuality is mm -hmm. and how we don't have to make it look like a completely new western imported because that's a criticism that comes from a lot of conservative people mm -hmm. that homosexuality or sexuality is like a western imported thing that we're bringing in new things. But no, like look at look at what Brihan, who Brihanala is. Mm -hmm. look, look at the idea of transgender mm -hmm. that is very much part of the Mahabharata mm -hmm. uh, and sort of then taking off like so how would Arjuna have felt mm -hmm. becoming Brihanala like mm -hmm. it's not it's not a joke to be uh, cross-gendered transgender for mm -hmm. a whole year mm -hmm. you know and the other thing that we did was I work with my very dear collaborator Lakshmi Sriraman and then emerged this idea of a whole work based on Tamil women's poetry on love and war mm -hmm. and we, we spoke about Andal Andal's uh, started with Andal's love Spoke and then we spoke about Pari Magal, their love for land, the loss of land, mm -hmm. and then we moved to Karikala Mayar, love of the divine, mm -hmm. and then we moved to two modern poets, Salma and Sukhirtarani, and how they talk about just intimate relationships, mm -hmm. love and conflict, many of which are applicable through the generations yeah. and today too. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, and the other thing that I do is organize. I've been organizing a queer performance festival every year. Um, and as and I read when one of the things that I read today was you had said that your dream was to create a world, and it really struck a chord in me, uh, was to create a world where peace, love, and kindness are the norm and not the exceptions. Um, so I just wanted you to comment on intolerance uh, from the other side of the fence. How do you view intolerance? Yes, can we, through these experiences of suffering and humiliation, find a shared sense of suffering and humiliation? Mm -hmm. We are perceived as not, well, I'm perceived as not behaving the way a man is supposed to be. Like I'm making choices that a man is not supposed to make. Mm -hmm. So I, it comes back to the idea of gender. So I feel that, for instance, gender is a more mm -hmm. foundational uh, zone of discrimination. Then I appeal to you by saying, by, by helping you frame it. I say, listen, as a woman mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in a patriarchal world, mm -hmm. don't you suffer Absolutely. Uh -huh. And then I make you relate and I help mm -hmm. you relate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I explain why we actually are have more in common. In common. Yeah. Um, what is the work you're doing with respect to women's empowerment? Is there anything um, that you've done here in Chennai, um, especially with the idea of empowering um, women? It's at various levels. It's at different levels. I mean, uh, women's empowerment, it's, it's a question of being an ally and being showing up basically mm -hmm. it's not a question it's it should, one shouldn't take over there shouldn't be the sort of a male notion of mm -hmm. I'm going to I'm going to give you empowerment have you seen a big change in the last several years in the attitude towards um, um, gay people in in Chennai uh, it's been a great deal of change though for people who probably come from outside and see it they don't see much and they feel, but you know, for some, for people, some of us who's worked here, who worked here, mm -hmm. we can't, some of the change we see is we can't really believe uh, that really? it just happened. Like uh -huh. many parents, including my parents, for uh -huh. instance. Uh, and 
uh, and you know they also speak to other parents, for instance, who have difficulty dealing, uh, handling uh, the situation. 